How demonic spirits fuel narcissism and make narcissists dangerous. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're going to discuss something that's probably on most of our minds, narcissists and the harm they can do. The reason I wrote this is because I want people to know they are not alone in their struggles. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on email notifications if you find solace in our discussions. We can get through this together. Let's delve into the suffering of narcissists a little deeper. Their arrogant comments and inflated senses of self-importance can be puzzling at times. But have you considered the possibility that some darker, more fundamental force is at play? Narcissists appear confident and self-sufficient on the outside, but their underlying insecurity and helplessness make them easy prey for the forces of darkness. These shadowy forces inspire narcissists to act in ways that are harmful to other psychists. Keep in mind that our ideas and beliefs are the main tools they use to attack us. By invading our minds and sowing discord and uncertainty in our connections, they completely append our lives. Narcissists not only hurt themselves, but they also open the door for evil to spread and destroy the lives of others. Because of their actions, evil forces bring misery and anguish to everyone they encounter. This internal conflict is designed to shatter our faith in God and unsettle our peace of mind. By aiding the devil's cause, narcissists play a pivotal role in this spiritual conflict. 1. Prevent us from developing a strong spiritual connection with God. 2. Induce mental anguish. 3. Keep us stuck in ruts of repetitive thought. Make us feel like it's our responsibility to alter another person's actions. We'll take a look at the top eight underlying causes of narcissism and discuss how to get rid of them once and for all. The information you need to know about our no-cost online program for overcoming narcissism is provided in the description box below. Let's muster the courage and hope we need to emerge from the darkness and into the light together as we travel this road. Let's delve into the first form of evil force we'll discuss, the spirit of jealousy. When one person is envious of another person's good fortune or accomplishments, they experience the negative emotion known as envy. The tenth commandment is, thou shalt not covet. Many times, greed is the root cause of coveting. In reality, Satan is the root of all jealousy, and narcissists' unquenchable thirst for entitlement is the root of all envy. While there are many other negative influences, envy is particularly potent. Violence, vengeance, malice, anger, resentment, brutality, division, jealousy, and rivalry are all possible outcomes of this mindset. If we give in to envy, it can destroy our joy very quickly. To protect our mental and emotional health, we must have a comprehensive understanding of this connection. Let's delve into the second form of negative energy now, the spirit of control. Have you ever felt like you were being strangled by someone else's obsession with micromanaging your every move? The instinct to dominate takes over here. As a result, individuals start putting their own needs ahead of those of society as a whole. They take advantage of those under their authority by abusing their position of power. Narcissists are expert manipulators because they know how to play on other people's insecurities. To get what they want, they won't think twice about hurting others. The Jezebel spirit, which can manifest in either gender, goes by many names. When it takes hold, the person experiencing it is left alone and helpless as it attempts to exert control over not only their behavior, but also how the world views them. But we must never forget that we have the power to free ourselves from this mysterious influence. Only by putting our faith in God and seeking his help and standing up to our oppressors will we ever be free. Let's take a closer look at pride the third demonic spirit. Any egocentric system is driven primarily by pride. There are plenty of people in the world with inflated opinions of themselves. This characteristic is common in narcissists, who are known to brag about their achievements and expect special treatment. Their attempts, subtle or otherwise, to elevate themselves above others are red flags for their egotism. Their arrogance causes those around them to feel even more threatened. But keep in mind that God places a premium on nuance. In Luke 14.11, Jesus warns that the humble will be exalted and the proud will be humbled. To grow more Christ-like, 
we must deny our pride and actively look for ways to prioritize the needs of others over our own. Pride is a deadly trap that we must all do our best to avoid. Instead, try to be as lowly and selfless as Christ was. Come with me as I probe the fourth evil spirit, the spirit of deceit. When a person's words and deeds are at odds with one another, they have given in to the lying spirit, also known as the spirit of deception. Narcissists are skilled liars who use deception and wordplay to keep the truth from their loved ones. They are only interested in promoting themselves to the detriment of others, leaving the rest of us bewildered and confused. These demonic influences are just as dangerous as religious dogma. Myths, false prophecies, slander, gossip, and deceptive rhetoric. To sow discord and lies throughout the world, Satan employs narcissists as his tools. We, the people of God, must stand firm in his truth and courageously oppose these false teachers. Those who tell the truth will always be blessed by God. Trust in God to reveal the truth instead of giving in to the spirit of deception. God can help you overcome the narcissist's lies and live a more authentic life. The fifth demonic force will examine if the spirit of confusion. The adversary plants seeds of doubt and uncertainty in our minds while wearing the mask of confusion, leaving us open to attack. It's like being in a dense fog where you can't see anything and can't hear God. Narcissists flourish in such an environment because our own confusion draws attention away from them and onto us. This evil entity is crafty as it seeks to undermine our belief systems and moral compass. The condemnation spirit is our sixth evil spirit of examination. This point of view would be useful for a narcissist who takes pleasure in laying blame. The narcissist's strategy revolves around making other people feel responsible for their problems and helpless to do anything about them by casting blame and condemnation on them. The narcissist creates an extremely critical environment in which they are the constant target of the victim's criticism. Constant criticism has the potential to make us feel dirty and insignificant. The fact that we can fight this spirit is just as crucial as learning of its existence. Keep in mind that no matter how harsh a criticism is, God still loves and values you. The witch's spirit is the seventh malevolent spirit, so let's discuss it. To not associate witchcraft with negative ideas like voodoo or black magic. Because of their mastery of manipulation, narcissists frequently resort to sinister means to achieve their goals. 1 Samuel 15.23 draws parallels between acts of rebellion and acts of divination and pride. Jezebel's bad rep and frequent association with malevolent power stem from her history of idolatry. Keep in mind that the witch's spirit is linked to egocentrism the next time you encounter someone who is stubborn and self-absorbed. Therefore, let us look into methods of self-defense that do not conflict with our morals. The spirit of fear is the eighth evil spirit will examine. Have you ever met someone who acted confident and cocky, but was actually quite negative? The narcissist's actions may be motivated by an irrational fear of rejection. Narcissists may seem confident on the outside, but they actually suffer from severe insecurity. They put on an act of confidence in order to persuade others, but they know deep down that it's all an act. They are just a bunch of weaklings on the lookout for other weaklings. Narcissists are expert manipulators who prey on the fears and insecurities of those around them. Guilt and shame prevent them from breaking the destructive pattern of relationships and habits to which they have become accustomed. You can't let your worries hold you back. You can overcome your fears and doubts if you put your faith in God's unchanging love and wisdom. It is imperative that we never lose sight of the fact that God has not given us a spirit of fear, of power and of love, and of a sound mind, it Timothy 1-7. So how do we shield ourselves from the toxic energy of those who wish us harm? The Bible foretells that the tribulations of the end times will make people more haughty, arrogant and cruel. According to 2 Timothy 3-1-5, we should avoid these people so as not to pick up their bad habits. I pray that you will find the strength to trust in God again and the resources to safeguard yourself from further harm if you have been victimized. Remember that you can't alter someone else's character. God will take care of it, so stop worrying about it. Could you ever imagine asking, can I drive them away? It's best to stay away from people who are constantly negative until God casts out their demons. 
Take a look at my free course, Narcissism 101. Early warning signs, escaping the trap, and rebuilding your life. If you want to learn how to spot toxic people and avoid getting hurt. In the space provided below, you'll find a download link. Maintain a healthy mind and spirit to last until our next get-together. Enjoy your day.